So, um, after all these years, uh, I kind of know, uh, spec came to the conclusion, not hard evidence, uh, that the guy that got robbed by my father, set, got set up by my father in that robbery and uh, lost tons of money uh, and goods. He was, the prob he was probably the guy that um, put the hit on my father. <sighs> and the people that took up that hit, um, according to, uh, um, to my uncle, uh, Peter Chen, um, he analyzed the whole situation. He, knew, he heard about the yellow cab. Uh, two Asian guys jumped out. One one Asian guy jumped out, and 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 shot my father. So he thinks during that time, um, in Chinatown, with the gangs, um, there there was only two um, um, two gangsters that were um, known for uh, driving a yellow cab. Uh, um, um, sometimes. Uh, one of them was um, uh, a black eagle and um, Kit, I don't think it was him because they were out of the picture during that time. Um, they were not in power in Chinatown. And the other guy, the other person that uh, drives a yellow cab uh, was a flying dragon. His name was uh, Little Hippo. Um, that's what my uncle uh, um, think that uh, carry out the hit. Uh, that guy passed away already. I, I also, uh, Little Hippo was uh, was the guy that freaking gunned down uh, uh, the professor. Um, and three days later, he got fucking gu he got gunned down also. So, uh, Little Hippo, my my, my uncle uh, Kitchai, um thinks that it was Little Hippo from the Flying Dragons that carried out the hit. Um, he was the only other guy. Uh, um, person that known to uh, be driving a, a yellow cab in Chinatown, uh, that had a yellow cab and, and drives around in Chinatown. Um, um, so this guy, uh, 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 let me give it a, a, short, uh, a short version uh, of a Little Hippo. I don't know nothing about him. Um, he drives a yellow cab, that's what my uncle said. Um, he thinks it's him that carried out the freaking hit, that took the contract and killed my father. Um, but um, after my father died, the professor, the, 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 the gang leader of the Flying Dragons uh, also got killed. Um, and uh, during that time, uh, the word on the street was that uh, Little Hippo ca uh, carried a hit also. Uh, he was known to be an uh, uh, enforcer for the Flying Dragons during that time. Well, actually a, a henchman for Uncle Benny, uh, or uh, sometimes. Uh, but he's, he, that hit was not carried out, uh, was, wasn't ordered down by, uh, uh, by Uncle Benny, Uncle Seven. Uh, wasn't sh sanctioned by him. Um, this was a private contract between uh, the Flying Dragon and that guy, uh, probably uh, that guy that uh, my father uh, set up the, uh, the robbery on. So uh, after my father died in 1980, uh, two years later, uh, the Flying Dragon, uh, uh, the head of Flying Dragon, the professor also got, uh, got killed. And uh, the guy that carried, the uh, people said that the guy that carried the hit was a uh, little hippo, the guy that also killed my father. Uh, that's what uh, my uncle uh, uh, came to the conclusion of. He also, uh, three days after uh, the professor got, uh, got killed, he also was, uh, was found uh, dead, uh, all shot up and, uh, and was also murdered. So I didn't know about this stuff uh, well back then. I mean, if I freaking knew about it when I was, uh, when I was a kid, I don't think I would freaking, um, waste all my fucking life uh, trying to find out who killed my father and uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I don't think I would have uh, went down to China and become a gangster. I never really, I don't think I'm a gangster material. Um, I was just angry. Um, there was a lot of hate inside of me. I, uh, I idolized my father like a god. And when somebody, when, and one day when, when, when your God and your, and your father got, uh, is dead, somebody took him away, um, it, nothing else matters. Uh, I, I think I just wasted my fucking life, uh, well, um, nowadays I'm fucking, uh, I'm pissed at my father. I'm really, I'm really mad at him. 
um, you have a family, young wife, three young kids, and you have to put yourself in that type of uh, danger, uh, doing all that stupid shit. Um, you got yourself killed. I love him because he's my father, but I also hate him for what he did. Um, I wouldn't say I hate him nowadays. Nowadays, I, I let go of that thing already. Uh, it's been over 15 years that I uh, um, don't think about it, don't care about it no more. It's, it's, it's done. It's gone. I, I already freaking uh, fucked my life up. Um, now I'm just trying to live uh, the remaining years uh, in some peace and quiet. Um, live a little more life like, um, like everybody else. So, so when my fa after that robbery happened, uh, uh, Uncle Benny from the Hip Singer Association uh, summoned uh, uh, my father up to, uh, for questioning um, um, for the incident. And um, due to the fact that uh, my, my father's mother, my, my grandmother, um, is a NG uh, from, uh, I was from the same village and actually were related with, kind of related to uh, um, Uncle Benny. Uh, my grandmother is Uncle Seven's uh, niece, uh, according, to, according to the um, um, way they came from, uh, from the village. Um, and the guy that got robbed is also uh, Eng, NG, that, and, and his father was also uh, a nephew of, uh, of Uncle Benny uh, back, in, uh, back in China. So um, when Uncle Benny asked my father, Peter Wong, what did you do? Did you do it? At first, my father denied it. And, um, and, and automatically, the, 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 the guy, because he had the Uncle Benny's uh, backing, he was in his own fucking uh, 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 playground, uh, his backyard. That's why he, uh, he became brave and freaking jumped on my dad and, 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 um, and asked him, listen, uh, if if you're not in on it, how come you're able to get all your freaking jewelry back? Um, how the fuck did you get your jewelry back? You must be in on it. Just fucking admit it. And my father denied it. Said, you know, I got fucking friends. I got friends uh, that was uh, able to get my uh, my jewelry back. Uh, don't forget, I was robbed. I was there too. I got robbed too. So he was still denied it until I don't know what that guy said that triggered my 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 my, my father. And this is what my father said. Um, I don't have any money, but my life is right here. You want it, come and take it. Uh, that Tina Bo Lat Bang out here. He didn't freaking openly, you know, uh, admitting uh, that, that he did it. Uh, but from the way he said it, it's, it's close enough. And especially he said it in front of uh, 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 inside the Hip Singer Association with Uncle Benny present. Uh, so Uncle Benny uh, heard that, and, but he, don't, he doesn't want to get involved because of uh, my grandmother. Uh, well, after all, it, this freaking kid is still related to me. Um, so what Uncle Benny said, he already know, uh, Uncle Benny already know that, yo, listen, you're fucking, you did it. You fucked this guy, okay? Now I can't do nothing, I can't fucking protect you, but I can't fucking, I, I, I can't punish you also. So what he said is that, listen, this is me, this is me. Who the fuck should I help? Should I cut this side or should I cut this side? So, so Uncle Benny said, you know what? Don't get me involved, you guys on your own. I don't want this fucking mess around me. You guys, you guys handle whatever the fuck you guys, you guys handle. So even though Uncle Benny was not punishing my father for, 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 uh, uh, for, that, uh, for the incident, by saying that he does, don't get me involved. Um, it's an automatic okay. Go ahead, do your thing. All right? Just don't get me involved. All right? um, I, I, can't, I can't be involved. <laughs> so I guess um, when he said that, he gave the guy the okay, you know, go fucking hire a contract and get a contract and hire a hitman and fucking uh, to take out my father. Because so the way uh, my father did it um, was very disrespectful. Try to act like you fucking, uh, it wasn't you. You had your fucking jewelry back when everybody fucking uh, um, um, got robbed. So 
you, you fucking can't deny it, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, one stat, once Uncle Betty said that, my father left, and it also gave the guy the okay to do whatever he feel comfortable with doing. He got, su- he got summons up to uh, hip, hip Sing uh, so for, by, by Uncle Betty. The guy that, that got robbed, the, the deal that, that my father was, uh, was, uh, was working on, well, th- um, that set the guy up, he was a member of the Hip Sing Association. He just, th- this is how the tongues work. Like members. They're, they're like members, but not like on the board. Okay. They were members. Um, let's put it this way. On them. You know, like my grandmother. People that join as- associations uh, are usually uh, businessmen. Um, either they're businessmen or gambler. Uh, no, 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 no. They pay their dues. They pay their fee to right. become a member, like and they get protection. So she's part of the honor. They get they get protection by the by, by the tongue, so nobody will mess with them. Right. Uh, don't mess with their uh, won't mess with their uh, their business or whatever the hell they're doing in Chinatown. So within that facility, they're being protected by uh, by so the tongue. So what what went on? How I, what, what the kids I told me um, was telling me the story of uh, how that incident happened uh, at the warehouse is that. Um, there was a deal going on with uh, uh, with this guy uh, um, that he was uh, my father was dealing with. It was uh, it was a uh, shark fin and uh, dry abalone and some cash uh, combined together, uh, probably the value of uh, uh, one hundred fifty thousand back in the nineteen seventies, uh, uh, late seventies. That's a large amount of money back then, you know, even even for today. So um, my father. Went to Kitchai and told him, "Listen, yeah, uh, um, I'm doing this deal. I'm setting up this deal with this guy with uh, with the goods. Uh, I want you to bring a couple guys. Uh, go to my warehouse. That's where it's gonna take place. Uh, shoot, uh, pop a shot in the freaking air, and uh, take all the goods. Uh, rob everybody, including me. Take my jewelry. Take my watch. Take you know, take everything. So make him uh, look uh, convincing, like I'm not in. Uh, um, I'm not involved. You know, I'm also a victim." So uh, Kitz and his crew uh, did the robbery. Um, during that day, uh, what happened is that they took all the uh, everybody's jewelry, my, my father's uh, Rolex watch, uh, uh, my uh, uh, his um, his uh, gold necklace with the with the uh, heart uh, jade heart uh, pendant, and his uh, diamond ring and a uh, pinky diamond ring, and the goods are combined together. The value was probably like around. Uh, uh, Hundred fifty thousand, uh, fifty thousand dollars in cash. I remember, uh, kids are telling me. So, after the after the robbery happened, uh, took took place. Uh, um, later that night, um, kids and my father, you know, met up uh, at one of uh, uh, the ghost shadows, uh, uh, clubhouse or safe house or whatever, and and he told asked my fa- uh, my father, uh, how much uh, do you want to cut, you know, and what my father told him the next. Uh, uh, was really freaking uh, 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 that shocked him. He said, "Keep it, keep everything, keep the cash, keep the goods, g- get rid of it, do whatever you like. You know? uh, it's all yours." And kids, I even asked him, "Seriously, Peter, go? You don't want none? Uh, just tell me what do you, uh, how much you want. Just uh, I'll, I'll split it with you." <laughs> My father had no intention of taking anything. He just told the kids, "Yo, keep everything." So it really puzzled kids. I like, what the fuck, you know? Um, Anybody that set this type of shit up, uh, it's 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 got to be fucking for money. Uh, and if you don't, you don't want the money. So what what the fuck is going on? It it really puzzled kids. I and and he had no idea why the fuck uh, uh, he even set up this uh, this uh, this robbery and not take you know uh, take any uh, money or or the share of uh, uh, of the stuff of the goods. So he got his uh, jewelry back. Um, and and what's messed up is that three days later, people seen him um, wearing a jewelry, um, um, the Rolex watch, the freaking uh, pinky uh, diamond ring, and the gold necklace. Um, three days later, back down in Chinatown. I mean, fucking, it, it, it's it can't be more fucking obvious that you were in in on this shit. Um, and somebody ran and fucking told that guy, and that guy, uh, um, he's not a, a gang member. He knows that uh, 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 my father hangs out with the ghost shadow, so um, the only backing that he had was uh, was to go up to a uh, Hip Singh Association and uh, um, ask Uncle Benny for help. 
you know. Uh, and then uh, Uncle Benny heard the story, heard his side, and, and then he wants to hear my father's side, so he sent some people to go uh, summon my father up for questioning. And, um, and that's when shit blew up in his face. He did it to himself. Um, so my, father, my grandmother is related uh, to Uncle Benny. The guy's fucking father was, uh, that, that my father Rob uh, is also uh, related to Uncle Benny. And Uncle Benny just asked my father when, when, when my father went up to him, did you do it? Are you involved? My father flat out denied it and said, no, I, why, would, why would I do it? I got robbed too. And then the guy jumped on my father and said, what the fuck? Well, if you're not involved, how come everybody got robbed? I seen those guys uh, took the jewelry off of you, took your freaking watch. Why are you winning now? How, how the fuck you get it back? And my father said, listen, I got some friends and, 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 and they got it back for me. Um, it wasn't very convincing to uh, Uncle Benny. Um, so, but Uncle Benny couldn't punish him uh, or couldn't protect him. You're already fucking admitted it by, by, by doing this shit. And, and for some reason, something triggered my father saying this fucking phrase. The guy and my father start shout, uh, shouting at each other, cursing each other. And there was this phrase that my father said, um, in English it means, um, I don't have the money, but my life is here. All right. it, it, in other words, uh, fuck it. Maybe I did do it. All right. You want your money back? I don't have it. My life is here. Come and take it. Uh, that type of fucking attitude. <laughs> so once my father said that, it upset it also, uh, Uncle Benny too. I mean, shit, I'm trying to fucking protect you. Uh, now you said that shit, and there, there's no denying that you're fucking involved. Um, so, next thing that Uncle Benny said is that, listen, uh, the palm of my hand is fucking meat, the, the, the fucking back of my hand is fucking meat, so both of you are, are, are related to me. I can't fucking punish you, I can't fucking, I, I don't want to get involved, you know? You, both of you guys, you're on your own. All right. So, he kicked both of those guys out, T take care of that shit outside. Don't get me involved. I, um, I, I don't want to be involved. When Uncle Benny said that, uh, that, that he doesn't want to be involved, uh, that means he gave the okay in a way. Listen, you do what the fuck you got to do all right, to, to the other guy. Uh, I'm not protecting him no more. I can't protect him because of uh, what he did. Um, and he said it right in front of me. Uh, all, try, almost like, you know, saying that, that he openly admitted, kind of, uh, that, that he was involved and, and he doesn't give a fuck. So um, I can't punish him, but now I can, uh, but out of uh, uh, the code in Chinatown, uh, as, as a freaking uh, uh, the most uh, prominent member of, uh, of, the, of the Chinatown uh, Tongs, I can't fucking openly protect somebody that did something so fucking foul, uh, even though he's my uh, he's a, uh, he's related to me. So the only thing I could do is uh, I'm not involved. Don't get me involved. You guys take care on your own. So by saying that, uh, Uncle Benny, by saying that, it's like, hey, listen, do what the fuck you gotta do. All right, I'm not protecting the guy no more. Um, if you want to fucking do something to him, it, it's on you. Just don't get me involved. So. After um, me and kids, I traded stories and, and, and put pieces uh, of, uh, of what we know, uh, infos of uh, what we know uh, together. We came up to co uh, the conclusion is that that guy probably, uh, you know, uh, did the hit. And, and to be honest, my, fucking, my father fucking asked for it by saying that shit. He could have just fucking kept his fucking mouth shut and denied it all the way. Um, and he was still, he, he would have still been alive today. They, there was no evidence. Even in the fucking towns, in the, in the gangs in Chinatown, you still need fucking hardcore evidence in, in, to, to, to convict somebody uh, of, of, of anything, you know, uh, before you fucking put a, a death sentence on them. You can't, because if, if there's no hard evidence, 
uh, that he did it. You can't fucking go put a hit on him. All right? Uh, Uncle Benny's not going to uh, okay that shit. And during that time, it was, uh, uh, he was, my father was also a pretty uh, uh, close, uh, uh, has a tight relationship with, uh, with the Ali Young, uh, 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 the president of Ali Young during that time, uh, Eddie Chan, the fucking ex cop from Hong Kong. Uh, so the two fucking uh, biggest tongues in Chinatown uh, uh, in, in New York, if they don't fucking okay it, you can't fucking touch them. You touch them, everybody's going after you. You know, there's gonna be some fucking serious repercussion. But by 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 saying that fucking phrase through my father's mouth, acting so fucking uh, um, obnoxious and fucking uh, he fucking signed his own fucking death warrant. My father. Um, the one guy that could fucking uh, would have fucking kept him alive, uh, Uncle Benny. Um, but he had to fucking piss him off, and 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 and. Uh, and that's when Uncle Benny said, I don't want to be involved. You guys do what the fuck you guys do. If he would have kept his mouth shut, I'm pretty sure um, there was no hard, hardcore evidence uh, that, that he did the fucking uh, the, uh, uh, the robbery. You know, he set up, the, set up that guy. Uh, disrespect the, uh, the guy. The guy was a freaking member of the Hip Singh Association. Even though he's not a really active Tong member, he was just a businessman that was under the protection of, uh, of the association. But to Chinese people, it's, when you do that type of shit and openly fucking admit it, it's like, what, what the fuck am I? Uh, I'm, I'm a herb, I'm a fucking, uh, you, you could do whatever the fuck you want, you, can, you, you just slap me in the fucking face openly, you know, uh, in front of everybody. It was embarrassing. So pretty much that's how, that's, uh, that's what we think that, uh, that, that got my, uh, my father killed. Um, the relationship between my father and the ghost shadow was to to the outsider, uh, to other people that that that, that didn't know. Um, he was just a businessman. His his image in Chinatown was just a businessman. Um, he hanged around with a lot of uh, uh, different tongs and uh, different gangs. Um, he knew a lot of people because he's a businessman, um, and he had a a gambling house uh, in Chinatown. He operated a gambling house. Two actually two of them. Um, uh, but he became close to uh, Kitsai and the Ghost Shadows, but he still kept it under wraps. Um, the way that my uncle, uh, Kitsai, uh, described my father's uh, role uh, in, his, uh, in, in his life uh, during, the, uh, during those years was, he wa my father gave him advice how to operate, how to hustle, how to make money, how to, uh, uh, how to do deals to generate income, uh, what type of business to do, uh, use your influence as a freaking, uh, uh, one of the po most powerful uh, uh, gang in Chinatown, um, and, and, and muscle your way in into a uh, different type of uh, business deals and make money. My father actually fucking made a lot of money during those, uh, those years uh, using the ghost shadows and the ghost shadows using, uh, 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 taking advice and, and, and uh, 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 being guided by my father. But to the outside world, uh, to other people's eyes, uh, he was just a businessman. He, he was not a ghost shadow. Um, even though Kit and, and my father was really tight and apple-headed and, and, and Mongo, they, they kind of kept it under wraps like now uh, in, in a way that it was kind of secret. Uh, he, was, he gives them advice, but, but it was un, uh, uh, without other people knowing it that, that he was uh, guiding the ghost shadows to to, to become a, a, a powerful gang in, in Chinatown. So, yeah, maybe uh, if uh, people knew how tight uh, the ghost shadow and, uh, and my father was, uh, maybe that guy would have had second thoughts of uh, putting a contract out on him. Uh, or maybe the, the guy that took the contract, uh, uh, the Flying Dragon, uh, uh, Little Hippo, um, uh, would have uh, not picked up that contract, you know, uh, and, and and, and um, wouldn't have took, uh, taken that hit. Maybe my father would have uh, still been alive today. But at the end of the day, he fucked up. The things he did, he was fucking, my father, my father was a very smart guy. Um, so much to the point that everybody tried to woo him to join uh, their side of the town. Hip Singh uh, wanted him to join his side of the town. Uh, 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 John uh, Hip Singh, 
all the young's Eddie Chen uh, uh, always try to persuade them. Come on, uh, uh, um, come and work for us. Work with us. You know, uh, we will make a lot, a lot of money. But somehow he's always uh, he doesn't he 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 never uh, register or or or, or committed to um, any tongue. Um, and for somebody that doesn't have uh, a tongue to back you up and you're doing business and you're doing just fine in Chinatown, um, it's pretty fucking arrogant. Like who the fuck do you think you are that you don't have no fucking backing and you can walk around Chinatown doing uh, uh, shady deals, you fucking scheme people off, uh, 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 you scam people and, 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 and you know, a lot of, my, my dad was known to, uh, to do a lot of fucking shady deals. Uh, somehow he survived to fucking uh, uh, to the day he got in, uh, he got fucking hit uh, to the I guess that was his fucking uh, that was the last straw. I don't know why he was so fucking arrogant. You don't have no fucking backing. Back in the days in Chinatown, uh, back in the seventies and eighties, you need muscle. Um, you need protection when, when when you're operating in Chinatown, and especially when you're doing fucking shady deals, um, and and. You scamming people, you fucking uh, um, set people up and, and taking people's money and you all operate fucking gambling houses. Um, those are not fucking legal ventures that, that in the underworld of the Tongs and, and the gangs of China, that's, that's considered shady, shady business. Um, how the fuck do you, you know, walk around for, and, and survive all those years without fucking uh, um, getting muscled in now. So, to me, he was a loving father. Um, even though he, I know for sure, because yeah, it happened in front of my eyes that he cheats on my mom a lot, but he he still make the effort every night to go home and, 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 and have dinner with my mom and never try, try not to uh, embarrass her uh, openly. Uh, um, having affairs with other uh, other women, he was. Let's put it this way: he was a fucking very very bad husband because he fucking cheats. I and I seen it uh, in front of my uh, in front of my eyes. Um, but he was a great father. And and if you want to know about his personality, uh, why um, he have so much friends and and it was able to freaking uh, survive that long in Chinatown without any uh, 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 joining any tongs uh, or have any uh, real muscle to uh, uh, to back him. Well, he had muscle uh, to go shadow, but uh, it was uh, it was in secret. He never freaking uh, ex uh, uh, flaunted saying, oh, "Listen, I I got the go shadow behind me. Uh, you you can't fucking touch me." Uh, that that type of shit. He never flaunted it. Maybe if he fucking he did that one flaunt. Um, and, and and show people that listen, I got a bunch of fucking ghost shadows behind uh, behind my back. Maybe they would have fucking uh, um, uh, let him live, and maybe just give him a fucking beating, punish him, or something like that. Um, my father's smart, very loyal to friends. Uh, if you're his friend, he'll he'll give you the freaking uh, the the jacket off his back. Um, if he had a hundred dollars on him, he would give you fucking ninety and keep ten for himself. Um, but also, I came to the conclusion why my father would give ninety bucks to you and keep ten bucks to, for himself is because he was he 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 was so arrogant that he thinks that he if he gave you money, I gave you the money in his pocket and, and only keep ten bucks. Uh, his way of thinking is that I can always make it back. If, if I need it, I'll go fucking. I'll go out there and fucking get my money right now. Um, it's unlimited money for me out there. Everybody's a fucking uh, a lamb for him. He he he's just too fucking arrogant. I mean, he's smart. Uh, when he doesn't know how to how do you say it? humility, right? Um, he's not humble. He doesn't know that word. Um, he's flashy, flamboyant fucking arrogant um, 
And another thing is that he's fucking, he's, he's pr pretty handsome guy. So not only he, uh, he does uh, shady deals, he actually fucking, uh, he's well known for uh, uh, cheating, taking other people's fucking girl, messing with fucking uh, um, uh, different chicks that belong to other people, you know. Stealing other people's girlfriend. Without being a without being a gangster, he sure acts like a fucking gangster. <laughs>